Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we installed Bootstrap in our React project. And in today's video, we will install a routing and we will create header component in our React application. So let's get started. So to install the routing, we will use React Router DOM and you can visit npmjs slash packages slash React Router DOM and we can copy this command and we can open our vs code and here we will click on this terminal button and we will create a new terminal and we can paste the copied command and we can hit enter and as you can see our react router dom installed successfully and to make it work we need to open our index.js file and we need to wrap our app tag inside browser router tag and let's copy this from here and let's paste inside the browser router and after this we need to write the import statement so we will write import browser router from react router dom now let's save this file and after this we need to create the header component and to do that we will right click on our src folder and here we will create a new folder first and we will name this folder as pages now we will right click on this pages folder and we will create a new folder and we will name this folder as header and now we need to right click on this header folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as header dot js and after this we will right click again on our header folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as header dot css because we will write the css code in this file and after this let's open our header dot js and here we will create one function and we will name it as header as our class name and then we need to write arrow function and here we need to write a return statement and after this we will write export statement at the end and we will mention default and we will export our header and after this we need to create the navigation bar and to do that we will use navbar component of our bootstrap and to use this navbar component we need to write the import statement and we will import navbar from react bootstrap slash nav bar and in this nav bar we will write a tag for container and after this we need to import this container as well so we will write import statement and we will import container from react bootstrap slash container and in this container we need to show the brand as our project name so we will use nav bar dot brand and we will show employee management system and for the url we will pass slash and after this nav bar brand we need to write the tag for nav and we need to write the import statement so we will write import nav from react bootstrap slash nav and after this we will give it a class name ml dash auto to align it to the right side and in this nav tag now we need to mention the nav links and for the first nav link we will show the label as employees and for the url we will set it as slash and now we need to import this link from router so we will write import statement and we will import link from react router dom and after employees link we need to create another link to post the employees so we will copy this tag and we will paste it here and for the label we will pass it as post employee and for the url we will set it as slash employee we don't have this employee route for now but we will create in the future videos and after this we will open our header.css and i will paste the code of the css and you can pause the video and you can copy the css code now let's save this file 
and now let's go back to our header.js file because we need to import this css file and here we will mention import and we will give the path as dot slash and after this we need to give the file which is header.css and after this we will save this file and now we need to mention this header component in our app.js so we will open our app.js and here we will remove this h1 tag and we will replace it with empty tag and after this we need to remove this import of logo and here we need to mention our header component and we need to write the import as well so we will mention import header from and we will give the path of header component which is slash pages slash header slash header now let's save this app.js file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and you can see the navigation bar where we have a brand as employee management system and we have two links on the right side for the employees and post employee component and that's it for this video in the next video we will create post employee component with the form